Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm here to do my favorite perfumes while in quarantine. As of right now, don't know how you feeling about this quarantine, but I'm slick over it. I'm over quarantine, I'm over Google School. I'm over wearing PPE masks when I go to work. Anywho, so I did this video and I went live. However, when I went live... The video got flagged because I was playing music in the background. So if you're one of the people that have watched this video when I was live, can you just hit the thumbs up and come back to the next video? Or you can still watch this video. You can tell I ain't do a video in a, in a long time. Anywho, so we're going to start with one of my favorites. And she's expensive. This video is not going to be long because... Spaghetti almost done. I'm hungry. Anyhow, so Carolina Herrera, good girl. Isn't she beautiful? Oh my god, the bottle alone is stunning. This perfume has more of a I smell almonds. I smell tuberose. It's just a very classy scent. It's nothing good girl about this scent. This scent is very bad girl. Um, you can pick this up at Sephora. Uh, who else has this? I believe Macy's has it as well. This particular bottle right here is $85. The biggest shoe is, I believe, $120 or $130. My next perfume of all time. I have her on right now. And this is Hypnotic Poison by Miss Christian Dior. <sighs> Just love her. This is straight up vanilla. This is a gourmand perfume. A gourmand perfume is a perfume that smells edible. Okay, this is sweet. It's deep. It's dark. It's very heavy. Um, you will definitely stand out in any crowd. Um, I have the toilette version. I do not have the auto parfum version. I do not like the auto parfum version. If you give it to me for free, I will wear it. However, I like the toilette. Okay, now this particular bottle, this is a five ounce bottle. This bottle is $135, okay? But they do have smaller bottles, so don't worry. But you ain't got to buy it, so leave it for me. Anywho, but yes, this is almond. This is vanilla. It's sweet. It's heavy. If you're into those kind of perfumes, you'll love this one. My next favorite. It's still being made, but I really, really love this house. This is Lolita Lumpinka. This is what I tend to wear to work. This is so mysterious. It's so deep. It is licorice. It's syrupy. Um, musk. Oh my God. It's just, it's a very standout gourmand. I love gourmand perfumes. Very standout. I mean, it's amazing. It's very licorice -y, Very sweet. And you can actually get these perfumes on um, FragranceNet.com, eBay. And I only paid $35 because, like I said, this house is still being produced. But it's not, as, it's not expensive. Like, this bottle right here cost me $35. And I use it all the time. I, this is what I really wear to work. Because it's inexpensive. The next house that I picked up in perfume is Dolce & Gabbana. I don't know how to say this word. I just say Dolce & Gabbana number three. This is sweet. You smell... I smell tangerines. I smell watermelon. I smell a lot of citrus. This is very summer. Um, it is a fresh scent. However, the longevity of this perfume is not good. I tend to wear this in the summer. Um, it's a very heavy glass-like bottle. And it's not cheap. It is. I think I paid $65 for this bottle. But 
if you want to have to reuse this perfume and you don't want to spend that kind of money because some people don't like to spend a lot of money on perfumes I get it um, I'm just really into them I want to say you'd be wasting your money on this particular perfume but if you want another perfume from Dolce & Gabbana that's going to last all day all night for the summer I don't have it yet I will get it it is Dolce & Gabbana light blue intense don't buy the regular one get the intense version thank me later so even though I do love this it's not one I would reach for this is my second bottle um, I just bought it again because I wanted to have it in my collection but it's not something I would reach for all the time another perfume I'm loving and it's by MAC and it's Candy Yum Yum awesome this is another one I wear to work it's very inexpensive this one I get a lot of fruit in this one I get a lot of sugar this is long lasting like if I spray this on my uniform and I go to wash my uniform I do smell this this particular bottle is about $55 if you're a pro member at MAC you'll get it for cheaper I do like MAC's perfumes I like their Taquatic and I also like Velvet Teddy if you want to dupe for, they say if you want to dupe for Tom Ford's tobacco, you should get Max Velvet Teddy. So, but this one, Candy Yum Yum, is a staple. Another perfume that I also love, and this one is by Escada Magnetism. This one, oop. Needle was too loud. Um... This perfume is sweet. I smell melon. I smell licorice. I smell musk. You have a lot of notes in this particular perfume. This is made by the House of Escada. Um, like I said, you can find this perfume. I actually get mine from fragrance.net. This bottle right here cost me $30. I am going for the bigger bottle. I think that one was $40. This is hands down my favorite perfume of all time this one and if I had to live with just two perfumes it would be this this and Dolce & Gabbana light blue intense which I'm all out so um another perfume I just bought on the wind that I did not think I was gonna like and I end up using all of it is the flanker of Prada's candy I believe this one is called sugar pop this is very sweet. It's powdery. Um, the longevity on this is not good. That's why I ran out because you have to keep spraying it. However, because it is a flanker, it's not expensive. If you'd like to try uh, Prada's Candy Line, I would try Candy, the original first. And then I would start to move on to the flankers. Another house that I love is Guerlain. Guerlain has a, a perfume called Insolence. I think that's how you say it. Now this is the toilet version, okay? This is straight up powder. I like it, but I don't reach for it a lot, okay? I have to kind of be in a mood to wear this. If you love Johnson & Johnson's Baby Magic, no, if you love Johnson & Johnson's Baby Lotion and you put this on top, you will smell like an infant. If you like those baby powder scents, Baby Soft, Demeter's Baby Powder Perfume, this is what you get with insulin powder and floral powder. Another perfume I didn't think I was going to like, but I actually like this house. This comes from the house of Moschino, and this is I Love Love. This is a dupe for Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue, the regular version, okay? I used the whole bottle. It's gone. And it's citrusy. You can smell a lot of limes, a lot of grapefruit in it. It's very clean. It's very fresh. Um, the longevity of the wear time with this particular bottle is not good. You may get two, three hours. Other than that, you do have to reapply. Um... That's the thing, when you 
buy cheaper perfumes, the longevity of those perfumes may not be good, which is why they are inexpensive. When you go for perfumes that last tend to last a long time, they tend to be more expensive. Okay. And the last perfume that I didn't think I was gonna like, but I do like. But I got mixed feelings for it, but I like it. Ariana Grande's Cloud. Now, before everybody starts shooting Messenger, I didn't say I didn't like the smell. I didn't say it didn't last, because it does last. It is a bang for your buck. They say that this particular perfume is a dupe for Mason Francois Bacla Rouge. Now, I don't got $500 for that bottle. Now, that's just where I draw the line. I'm not spending $500 on the perfume. The most I will spend is $250. And that's for Chanel number five, the big, the big bottle. Don't tell my husband. Anywho, this particular bottle comes with a plastic cloud that you stick up underneath it, okay? I don't like it. I don't like the packaging of this perfume, okay? I like Ariana Grande's perfumes. I do. I think they're very cute. I think they're very chic. This particular bottle is it's plastic. It's plastic, you know. But let's get to the smell. It smells amazing. I smell Caramel, vanilla. It's very. It's like a roasted scent. It's natural. It's very great to wear in the office setting. Um, a lot of these perfumes will be too strong for the office, but I don't care. I wear what I want because I pay for it. But I absolutely love this. It's amazing. Um, I tend to wear it uh, when I'm going to bed. And I like it. I just don't like. The packaging um so sound off below let me know what perfumes you are loving right now um some of the ones i do want to pick up i want to pick up chanel number five i do want to pick up chanel mademoiselle i need dolce and gabbana light blue intense back again i also need a bottle of girl and jiggity i do like some of the moschino line you know just to spray around and What's one that I really, really got my eyes on? Swiss Arabia um, Shanghai U. I think that's how you say it. Swiss Arabian, I heard that's a real good house. So um, I do want to get more into the niche perfumes. Now, those tend to run expensive. So those would be like birthday gifts or just regular like gifts or whatever. So that's my little modest collection, and um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everybody.